What is going on guys, Quality XA here today and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new Sea of Thieves video. Now as you guys know the last video we actually posted was talking about the brand new DLC. Now today we're going to go a little bit more in depth with it with some of the stuff which is actually coming out with the certain updates. So regardless, let's get right into this. So first off we have the first update which is known as the Hungering Deep. Now this is actually coming out in May. Now the developers said that there is a new AI threat which actually requires a crew to beat it, not just one crew. It says you will actually team up with other crews to destroy this new AI and you'll actually get brand new loot including new items, cosmetics and unlocks. There is a brand new timed event involving a new AI threat as well. There's also going to be new mechanics in game and possibly a lot more stuff to come out. Now that is released in May, so very soon and I'd highly recommend having a look out for that. And like I said, the new events is definitely something to look forward to. They did also mention that there is going to be new weekly events coming in between these big DLCs. One of the weekly events, what they did describe, was actually a hidden treasure event. And in this event, an NPC tells you that they've lost treasure and you need to explore to find it. Underwater structure locations were teased as a possible area for this pretty awesome indeed so definitely you're going to be wanting to dive underwater and climb up some high places if you're going to look to find these chests moving on now to the second dlc this was actually known as cursed sales now this is going to be available in the summer now again like the first one they have a new ai threat which is going to require brand new mechanics to actually defeat whatever this threat is there's also going to be a brand new ship type now this dlc may hint towards what that ship could be it's known as curse sails the dlc so that could also hint towards what this kind of ship or what the kind of design for it could actually entail there's also going to be new mechanics and new features, new rewards and brand new cosmetics as well as possibly more. They did also say that there is going to be a brand new thing where you can actually get cursed cannonballs. They didn't explain too much on what these cursed cannonballs were but I believe it's going to be similar to the chest in where you could actually shoot these cursed cannonballs in and they might start crying and what they'll actually do is start slowly sinking the ship. We'll have to wait and see what that actually does though, but sounds pretty cool indeed. Another thing they did also mention was skeleton thrones. So these thrones will be hard to reach places, possibly underwater as well as in really high places, and they will give you rewards for finding them. Rare is adding it as another incentive to actually explore the world, what we currently do have pretty awesome indeed and then for the final area of dlc what we're actually going to be getting in the summer as well is known as the forsaken shores now this is a very interesting dlc they did say that this is a brand new area which sounds pretty awesome they didn't name too many details for it but they did say the new area itself is different to anything that we have seen ever before and it has a real dirty dim vibe about it there's also a new ai threat which is themed to the brand new area as well there's also going to be new cosmetics and rewards and a load more content in that DLC as well. The AI threat does sound pretty awesome from the way that they was describing it. Obviously themed with the new area wants to make you sort of believe that the new area will be very distinct, very different from what we have seen before. I just really cannot wait to see what Sea of Thieves can pull out for this. Now regarding the map itself, they did also say that free DLCs are also going to be added in the fall to winter, so you guys can expect at least 6 DLCs for this year for Sea of Thieves. Very awesome indeed, I really cannot wait for all of them. Seeing what we can actually gain from these DLCs, I'm really hoping they add some type of progression, but very exciting indeed. So just to round up, in May we have the Hungering Deep, in the summer we have the Curse Sails, in the summer as well we have the Forsaken Shores and we have three parts of Fall and Winter to have three more DLCs. Let me know if you guys are excited for this new content that we spoke about. I personally really am and cannot wait to see what the Rare development team actually do bring out. But as always, peace out and I hope you enjoyed.